Hey folks, this is Coach Q. I'm back. We got a little basketball action tonight. A little NIT preseason basketball action going on here. As you can see, we're taking this is round two of the Constellation match. Um, we are taking on the Creighton Blue Jays, our in-state rival. We are at the NIT preseason matchup in our tournament in Tempe, Arizona at ASU Stadium, or it's at ASU campus. In the Desert Financial Arena. We're at, I think it used to be Wells Fargo Arena. Now it's Desert Financial. But here is our matchup coming. Oops, wrong one. There we go. As you can see, we're taking on the Creighton Blue Jays. Or hopefully we can get Stay out of power triple. That's right. All right, loading up here. The old pre-game loading screens here, where you get to practice a little shooting with the ball here. Oh, I missed it. Missed it again. Oh, right in mid, mid takeoff, right there. Welcome to the second round of the National Invitational Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale. This should be an entertaining game. We're the 13th seed, and Creighton was the 12th seed. starting five look like you might ask well whether it's a big game or a small game your starting five has got to be ready to go dick i'll tell you one thing how they start the game is very important <clears throat> and will sometimes dictate how the game is played all 10 players are set now for the tip tip off of the first yeah, half short there Fires away. Oof. Well, you know, basketball is like nutrition, Dick. His game would be broken down into the two major food groups, and that's passing and uh -oh. scoring. What's great about it is the ability to pass and score. Who I thought I was going to. Not enough boards have. As a coach, you love having this type of player on your roster. Moving it around the perimeter. He fakes the shot. There's oh, look at there. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. They move it into the front court. Stick with a little man-to-man -man here. So important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He fires it up. Missed it. Ah, we got to get the boards. at the hoop. Oh, where is that going to? Defensively, they keep limiting their chances. Try to pack it inside. In the lane. Bust the jumper. Well, that wasn't a very good run, was it? They work the perimeter. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestle. Oop, that wasn't very good one either. Silly mistake. The Cornhuskers are on the run. Tries for two. Oh. Off the glass and no good. Too far underneath the hoop there. The point guard handles the feed. For 
two. They are ah. eating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. Creighton's on fire right now. On the outside. Some offensive instruction by the coach. Fake. The jump shot. There we go. Wiltshire or two. You always want your players going hard to the basket like that, right, Dick? Well, he spotted an opening and he just absolutely great first step and he exploded to the goal. Oh, he got the bounce off there just right. And the foul. Darn it. First personal foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, intentional foul, foul. I got to call that. Seniors are important because they do so much for the team. Leadership, motivation, and a sense of accountability. It's their last year, so you know they want to make it a memorable one. No good. Aggressively grabs the ball. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. On the outside. Nice fake. Oh. That one's lost the ball. They're off into transition. Ah, another foul. Dang it. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up. The defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. There's a snapshot of some of his averages. One thing that stats don't show, Brad, are the intangibles. Well, I can't put him in line, can we? That leads to the pass. That ultimately leads to the score. Deflection. Diving for loose balls. Those are all the important stats in my book. Pushes it up. He shoots from the deep corner. Nope. Grabs the board. Build the lane. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break up. I get the quick hitter there. That didn't work. Oh, dang it. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. They work it around the perimeter. Number one with the fake. Unloads a three. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. And that guy had 1,400 on his boards. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. Oh, got it through. Dang it. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. They might have to call a timeout here shortly. On the dribble, gives it up. The fake. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offense. There we go. Finally got one. Finally got one. Wow. No defense there. They got good sleep, great execution, great timing, a beautiful backdoor pass. With the runner. Oh, couldn't get it. Oh, we don't want him shooting the ball. He shoots from the top of the circle. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Looks like they're setting up into their zone motion. Out on the right wing. Wow. That's not working, is it? Good board, good board. Gave it up. Tries for two. No. Ah. Gets it to fall. We cannot get the rebounds, can we? Good fake. Goes up for 
<clears throat> we gotta dive in and kick out. Dive in and kick out. Oh. Oh, out of bounds. Come on. Guys, run out of bounds. What are we doing here? Subbage. Time to sub. Webster's up the top here. Oh, good play. Good play. Good play. <sighs> Not a good play. Kamanaga. And the bird lock. Oh, he lost the ball. Bradenbach, I guess, is up. He's going for the dunk. Oh, no. The power forward takes the pass. Tries for two. Dunk the ball, dude. This guy can really score. Now he hurt himself. I'll tell you, Brad, he's a complete player. It's great to watch someone with such versatility out there. The National Invitation Tournament. It was a huge acquisition for the NCAA. I mean, who would have thought that this tournament, started by five New York City colleges, would grow up to be this big? There, there we go. The team looked like it was going to be in some trouble, but the future is looking much brighter now. They'll work it around the arc. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Working it around the perimeter. Puts up the jumper. Ah, he got the roll. He got the roll. Yeah, I was probably getting tired here. Momentary look from three point land. Shoots from outside. The miss shot. Look at that spacing. Six minutes remaining. The power forward receives the ball. For two. There we go. Goes up for two. Nice. Still got the hoop. Still got the roll. Come on, dude. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He tries the jumper. Jumper won't go. And now the fadeaway jumper and come up short. Kicks it out. Oh, dang it. Anticipation defensively. Five minutes left in the game clock. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. He buries the shot. Very call timeout. Very call timeout. I think we need to get some subs in. And they burn a timeout here. We'll have more NCAA coverage coming up in a moment. The yeah, Allen doesn't be able to do anything. Yep. All right, here we go. Ready to get back to the action. Up and inside. He throws it up from downtown. Oh, in and out. He wants a three. They let him get into a rhythm. 
Wow. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. If you haven't noticed, the coaching staff really wants the team to get it going. They've been pleading with their players, get it going, speed up the pace. Up tempo is what they're all about, and the coaching staff would like for them to get back on track. Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent. All of you know that with an additional insight there. Kicks it out. Ten to shoot now. Tries for two. <sighs> Shots off the mark. What kind of player do you need in order to play up tempo, Dick? These guys aren't afraid to force the issue, Brad. That's for sure. Talk about forcing the issue. These guys are at their best when possessions are short and the speed of play is frantic. Probably one of the most entertaining styles of play. Nice low post play. Good entry to the box. They get it to go. Wow, they're just killing us now. We can't make a we can't make a basket. They work the perimeter. From the top of the key. Missed the jumper. On the wing. And a slam. I'm gonna have to go back to man man out. On the outside. Three minutes left on the game clock. On the outside. He goes up with it. Nope. Alexander receives the ball. Both teams looking to get things going here. He shoots from the top of the key. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby man. was ugly. We were just getting out rebounded and everything. Inside. He shoots from the deep corner. Off the mark. They work it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. Missed it. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Now looking to attack. Too much. That's a foul. Finally, we get to the free throw line. Holy buckets. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him to prevent the easy basket. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, we're getting just... <laughs> Here's another solid Not looking good here. Not looking good. In any college basketball puzzle. Having experienced kids like this on the court and on the bench. Hey, I made the first one. All right. No, oh, I missed this one. Rims off. See, that's what I like. A good rebound. Too many players these days want to score and do all the fancy stuff. Rebounding doesn't get you on sports center. Oh, and he got the foul this time. Dang it. I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. And here's a look at the freshman. Well, Brad, it's a lot different from his high school days. This is a big business now. It's about maturing and ensuring that he gets better every day and develops into a great all-around student athlete. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. There we go. Take her to the hoop. A great drive to the hoop right there, Dan. You know he did a great job putting the ball on the floor and getting to the basket. There's the trap. Oh, what's he doing, to Claire, out there? Off the mark. Now there's a whistle of the foul. Ah, another foul. Dang it. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a burst of foul. I like his mentality. No easy baskets. He steps up to the line. First one is good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Gets a second. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. No, oh, Mayan lost the ball. And the block. 
the block. There we go. That looked pretty good. Well, we're down by 22 first half here. Big man shoots the three. Oh, come on, guys. Down 16 points at half. Whew. Yeah, find something out here in the de on the defensive side of things, don't we? There we go. At least you make the highlights letting him do that. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. The missed shot. Get in there. That was nice. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. Looks like they're going into a 3-2 zone defense here, Dick. The Blue Jays running their zone offense here, Dick. Hey, one thing that works well, I didn't work. Zones is overloading the side. Overload the side of the switched up quick. To shift out of their desired position. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number 24 grabs it. Gave it up. And now the fadeaway jumper. Jumper won't go. He pulls up with a jumper and come up short. They'll work it around the arc. Oh, he got picked. Slowly performance has just gotten in his head. Hey, well, offensively, he's probably not feeling it. Defensively, he's going to step behind. He's going to have to turn things around. Working it around the perimeter. Puts up the tray. Missed the jumper. Goes up for two. <sighs> it won't fall. That kid's making him think about every shot, Dick. And he's doing it without fouling, which is the key. Number one is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. On the right. 
right side. Time to man up at the defensive end now. So Dick so important blocks the shot. Out on the wing. There's a double team waiting there for the bucket. Jumper didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. On the right side. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. Pushes it up. Ah. Five kids. O'Connell handles the pass. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. From three point range. Gets the J to fall. Wow. <clears throat> Terry look from three point land. He shoots from outside. Off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. The jumper nails a sweet jumper. <laughs> Number one with the ball. Look at that space. For two, no good from the field. What are some of the things that up-tempo teams will look to do, Dick? Up-tempo teams typically have some great athletes, people that can really get out and transition, who really can run exceptionally well, and also can jump exceptionally well. On the right side. He lets it go. Off the glass and no good. Here's a double team. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Off the mark. The Cornhuskers are definitely not playing at a tempo that suits their team or their coaching philosophy, Dick. <coughs> that helped. To be very aggressive offensively. That's just it, Brad. Their philosophy is to play an up-tempo style. For some reason, they're not doing it. Moving it around the perimeter. From three-point land. The Cornhuskers are looking to go man-to-man -man here and lock things down. It looks, Brad, like they're going to extend their defense and apply man-to-man -man pressure full court. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Eight minutes left in the game clock. He shoots from downtown. They get it to go. <laughs> Got to move the ball at the offensive end, don't you, Dick? They're moving the ball with the pass, and in this particular case, it's been more effective than the dribble. On the dribble, gives it up, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ah, oh, come on. He misses the fadeaway. Got it. Up and inside. He tries the three ball. The missed shot. Steals the ball. Number two gets the ball. And it's dripped. Active hands. The defense is really commanding the tempo. Hey, they're keeping him out of sync. Oh, wow. They work the perimeter. Ah. He shoots from the deep corner. Nails the jumper. 
<clears throat> On the outside, here comes the ball screen. For the bucket, there was no doubt about that one. I'll tell you, Brad, what a breakdown defensively. On the outside. Goes up with a shot. Knocked it down. <clears throat> about six minutes remaining in the game clock. Working around the perimeter with the J. Missed the jumper. Hey, these guys are starting to look tired, Brad. On the right side. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Number 11 is called for the foul. <coughs> Well, well, well. But does he do the little things? That's the question. Misses the second shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent to guard something. And it's knocked away. Ah. Circle, they work it around the perimeter. Wasn't quite what I was expecting there, but eh, it worked. Sure was, Brad. He found the prevent the easy basket. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get the Ooh, we made it. Whew. Gets the first. But second time we've been to the free throw line. Man, alive, they can hit the ball. They can hit the... Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number one with the foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. <clears throat> the Nestle. I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. Well, let's see if we can make some more here off the you know, free throw here. In 50% from the free throw line right now. So we off. That was tough shot to make. Nope, now that was seen short. Huh. We are shooting terrible at free throws, aren't we? Oh, charge! Sweet, good D. It's been a great team effort for these guys tonight, Dick. You can't have any weak links out there at this level. The coaches and players are just too good. Well, McGowan comes back in for McGowan. So far, it's been a demonstration of teamwork. Rice for Trey. Trying to go inside, and they do. They got it on the low block. Trying to go inside. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. On the left side. Number five is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Once again, let's take a look at our stars. <clears throat> They'll throw this one in from the side. The small forward with the ball. He shoots from the corner. Jumper won't go. Goes in. About four minutes remaining. Looking for a good shot. Out of bounds and a change of possession. <sighs> Ian.
Did we get the ball or not? No, we did. Looking for a good shot. Tend to shoot. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Here we go on the break. He shoots from the deep corner. Hey, we've got one to fall. What do you know? Oh, we don't want the big guy shooting the ball. He puts up the J. Busts the jumper. He can't stay with him. <clears throat> sure he can, but he's not. Way out on the right wing. Puts up the J. Knocks it down. Now they work it around the perimeter. Oh, Andre with the two turnaround jumper there. Hey, we get to shoot three. Gotta shoot three to get the ball back in the game. Webster here. Ah. Dang it. We cannot shoot free throws. Or I can't anyway, I should say. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. There we go. Wow, that was just bad. One of three there. Probably three of, I think we're three of nine. Three of eight. He shoots from the top of the key. Nails a sweet jumper. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. O'Connor comes up with it. Oh boy. They push it up on the break. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Cross court. One minute left to go. From the corner, the Cornhuskers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brady's on fire. Number one picks up the foul. Second personal foul. <clears throat> Begins off the sideline inbounds. They'll work it around the arc with all sorts of time. Missed it, gave it up. Goes up for two. It's good. Shot clock is dead. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. It's not smart to just throw it out of bounds. They'll throw it in from the side. Working it around the perimeter. 
double team now, Matt Angle. The Blue Jays are now in the bonus. No, they're in bonus now. Oh, geez. Mitchell steps to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. No problem. Well, this didn't turn out so well. But hey, normal Nebraska creating basketball, right? Gotta make the freebies. Takes the rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. He goes for three. Nope. Goes up. Ah, uh, can't even make the simple two pointer. Ah man. Who's by fourteen? Dang it. <laughs> oh, so devastating. Andre all parked off there, starting the ball down. Wilker at 17 points. Well, I didn't go so good. Some good moments, not so good moments. Oh, we couldn't do anything, could we? I'll put a little more emphasis on rebounding. Wilker was 17, Gallons was 13. Burge with seven. Andre off the bench for five. Brendan Bach for five off the bench. Lap Mayan four. The free throws are not good. One for two, over two, one for two. Well, there's two for six right there. Three for nine. That's so, uh, three for nine. Ooh, not good. Not good. So you got Creighton there. 18, 14, 14, 13. Three throw two for two. Three for four. Eight for ten. Nine for twelve. Nine of twelve. Eesh. Yep. Stats wise, yeah, they outdid us. We could not get anything. Could not get anything going. Need seven three pointers though. <laughs> no rebounding. That's what hurt us. All right, folks. That's all we got, and we'll see who we play next round here. Oh, we play Virginia next. Let's see what that you were at there for. Oh, we're oh we're done with the NIT. We're done with the NIT. Looks like. Yeah, Virginia down the Big Ten ACC Classic down here. That's who we got next. So, all right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.